What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bear Dog, back with another New York Giants video. Thank you so much for watching and clicking on the video. I really do appreciate it. If you can do me a favor, want to help out the channel, hit that thumbs up. It helps out the videos more than you'll ever know. Also, leave a comment if you'd be so obliged. That would be great. That also helps out the video. And, hey, if you want some extra credit, go out and share the video. Share the you know channel with your friends, your family, whatever. Let's talk some Giants football, baby. I appreciate you watching. Let's talk about Daniel Jones. Let's talk about Daniel Jones's performance against Washington on Thursday. It was a very encouraging performance. There's no doubt about that. Daniel Jones has had some of these. Most of them come against Washington for whatever reason. He seems to do really well against Washington. But it's got some Giants fans talking. I'm now seeing Daniel Jones as a franchise quarterback. Daniel Jones is great. Daniel Jones is this. Daniel Jones is that. He's definitely the quarterback of the future. Pump your brakes. If anybody is guilty of blowing Daniel Jones up way before, says me. It's me. You know, when Daniel Jones first came out against him, I'm like, oh my God, this guy's a superstar. Daniel Jones is going to be great. Way too early. Didn't pump my own brakes. You know, had the pedal of the metal, went out of control, ran off a cliff. That's what happened. I, I mean, I made a video saying that Daniel Jones would be better than Dak Prescott for crying out loud. That was the one quarterback that I was wrong that he was better than, but it is what it is. Still, that's my point. I definitely got way too ahead of myself with Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones' performance was awesome against Washington. It's one of the best performances he's had in quite some time. And I would like to see more of that going in, you know, towards the future, without a doubt. But for me, and for us as Giants fans, I, I believe you have to see that on a more consistent basis. Daniel Jones has been shown flashes of brilliance, which is why I'm so critical of him, because you see a game like that, and you know that talent's there. And you're like, where is this game in and game out? Obviously, you play some tougher defenses, and that's okay. But you see bad decisions. You see bad turnovers. Now, he's done a good job of not turning the ball over this year. He's turned it over once in the first two games. Obviously, the fumble was magnified because of the situation. He got a couple of lucky breaks. He could have thrown a couple of interceptions in the first two games. You know, he threw it right into the defender, and they dropped it. So he's done a better job of controlling the ball, and he's made a couple of mistakes. But you can live with that. You know, Daniel Jones has played, what, I think 28 games in his career now. And he's probably had eight good games. The best quarterbacks are going to have off days. They're not always going to be perfect. Even Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, they have off days. They're, but they're far and few between. But if you're going to be a franchise quarterback, instead of a ratio like 20 to 8 in bad games to good games, this has to be the other way around. He has to have 20 good games to 8 bad games. You know, for every four games that he plays, if he has a bad game, okay, you can live with that. So he's got to be more consistent before we're sitting there going, he's the future, he's definitely the quarterback of the future. We don't know. He has to play like that the rest of the season. What's encouraging about what he did was you saw Jason Garrett use his strengths. And if Daniel Jones is going to be successful, Jason Garrett needs to call more RPOs. He needs to call more designed runs for Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones had 95 yards running against Washington. He should have had about 130 Obviously, he had the touchdown call back and the phantom holding call by C.J. Board. But Daniel Jones is going to have 130 yards rushing and two touchdowns. I would definitely like to see more mobility and, and Daniel Jones using his legs more down inside the red zone where we continue to struggle. He did have a couple of touchdowns. He had a pass touchdown and a rushing touchdown, but at the end of the day, we kicked five field goals. You can't have Graham Gano kicking five field goals every week. We have got to finish some of these drives. The best way to do it, in my opinion, is by using Daniel Jones' mobility because I feel like when Daniel Jones is outside the pocket and improvising and playing on instincts, he's much better. When they try to force him to be a pocket passer, he thinks too much, he doesn't feel the rush, and he struggles. So I just feel like you got to let Daniel Jones do his thing, which is getting him outside of the pocket, especially when our offensive line is definitely not the best offensive line in football. Being able to use his mobility also should open up things for Saquon Barkley, who is getting closer, not 100%. I think the 10 days off here will definitely help him going into the Atlanta game. But I think you see what Daniel Jones can be. Now, people that are just going to hate on Daniel Jones are going to hate on him. People are like, he definitely overthrew that ball that Darius Slayton. He overthrew it. He didn't overthrow it. If Darius Slayton laid full out for that ball and it hit his fingertips, then you could say it was an overthrow. With Darius Slayton, that ball hit him in the hands. He should have dove for it. And I'm telling you right now, 8 out of 10 NFL wide receivers catch that ball. Do you think Odell Beckham don't catch that ball? Do you think DeAndre Hopkins doesn't catch that ball? Do you think a guy like Randy Moss wouldn't have caught that ball? Of course they do. 
Hakeem Nix would have caught that ball. Victor Cruz would have caught that ball. Why? Because they would have laid out. You got to help your quarterback out now and again. Not every throw is going to be a perfect throw. But you got to lay out. You got to make a play. If you want to win games, you got to make plays. Daniel Jones was the only reason the Giants were even in that game against Washington because their defense was absolute garbage. We didn't run the ball very effectively. And yeah, Darius Slayton had the big drop. Daniel Jones is the only reason we were in that game. Like I said, I'm very critical of Daniel Jones. I will give him credit. Criti- I'll give him criticism when he deserves it. And I'll give him credit when he deserves it. And he deserves all the credit in the world. He played a very good game against Washington. It was a perfect no. But it was damn good. And it was good enough to win. And the only reason we didn't win is because Dexter Lawrence jumped off sides on the missed field goal. Otherwise, the game's over. We win. We're not talking about this. Then, actually, then Daniel Jones' performance probably really would have been blown up. But it is encouraging. It's extremely encouraging for the offense going forward that you see what Daniel Jones can be. He's got to do it on a more consistent basis. He should have a very good week against Atlanta. I want to see more of that. I want to see more mobility. I want to see more design runs. I want to see more design rollouts, play action passes. When he had the play action pass and do right down the seam, that's it. I mean, I've been calling for that for years. I think the Giants need to do more of that. But I think Daniel Jones on rollouts, RPOs, and play action passes, bootlegs, I think this is where he's the most effective, and I think Jason Garrett needs to call more plays like that. You're not going to do it every single time, but there's no doubt I believe Daniel Jones becomes a more confident quarterback when you get him moving. And in turn, that'll make him more confident inside the pocket. Anyway, that's what I think about Daniel Jones' performance. Like I said, I always appreciate you guys and girls watching. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Please like, please subscribe, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time. It's a bad diggity dizzle. I'm out. Peace.